All right, it is early. I am still waking up, but I am currently doing a stream on the European servers of Guild Wars 2, and Guild Wars 2 themselves just released a video a few minutes ago of the Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons Elite Specialization, Vindicator Revenant. So, this is my first time watching this vid. Let's see what they've got. I'm going to watch it all the way through without pausing once, and then we'll pick through it and look for any details. The Kurziks and Luxons were bitter enemies, but their greatest champions, St. Victor and Archimorris, united to help slay Shiro the Betrayer at the cost of their own lives. Vindicators call upon the strength of their legendary alliance, channeling both heroes' skills to devastate their enemies and protect their allies. They use great swords to deliver massive attacks and crush foes by leaping straight into battle instead of dodging. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to unpack there. Okay, there's not, not much after that. All right, so Kurzix and Luxons. I play, I did play Guild Wars 1 Factions, but I played it when I was a wee lad. And I wasn't as hooked on that game as I am on this game. So the Kurziks and Lexans in Guild Wars 1, you could choose a faction to join, and you fought against the other faction, and there was a whole thing on that. Um, I don't remember these heroes that they named, that they're channeling. Uh, so this is that's, that's a new thing for me. Um, the icon. So m most of us figured this was the icon for the Vindicator. It very closely resembles the revenant uh icon that they that they already had there was a few guesses that maybe it would be the mask that looked like kind of like a demon mask because he had horns in the uh the silhouette of the teaser that they did a while back um I, i'm assuming that those were just part of the class armor uh so then we've got we've got our boy here with the great sword the kurzix and luxons were bitter enemies all right, so right there, we've got what appears to be in a mo movement skill. Uh, but a their dash. greatest chance. And perhaps a dash with a spin on the end of it, or a dash, and then he did a different move that was a spin. So that could have been one move or two moves. Champions. Um, Warrior Greatsword has a move where they spin while moving forward in a line, so it would not be a weird thing for that to have the spin on the end of the engage. St. Victor and Archimorris. You know that right there, let me see that again here. So he, he's their greatest in. champions, Saint Victor. And then there's like he hits and there's like cracks on the ground. I wonder if that was his weapon chain. That looked like that might have been a one-two. Their greatest champions, Saint Victor and Archimorris. That might have been his auto attack chain. Like the one then the one. Uh or that could have been a separate chain. United skill. to help slay Sh so right there, that looked like another slay. movement skill. Where here, let's turn the volume down a little bit. Saint Victor and Archimorris united. It's like he raises the sword and goes flying forward. That's definitely a different mm. movement skill than earlier. So they've slay. got uh, at least two, and it appears to be doing a conal uh, ability at the end of it. Hero the Betrayer. Then the he pointed and summoned this thing. Now this is interesting to me because. The Revenant, like, the, the Herald doesn't summon the hero clones behind it. The, uh, the base Revenant doesn't do that. Uh, the, it's the, mm. it's the Renegade. The Renegade summons the spirit thing. That, that's been purely a Renegade thing up until this point. But this Vindicator has at least one, uh, thing where they point and then this big boy spawns. Um, now they only showed one. It might be their elite skill of their new legend. I'm not sure. Cost of their own lives. Vindicators call upon the strength. Right, so he did a po he pointed. The clone appeared and started winding up. Then he did another hit, which may have been that stab may be a move of its own, or it, like it could be related to that, or it could be completely unrelated to that and be just a separate technique. Um, there's a lot of blood and stuff coming out. Vindicators I wonder if that applies to bleeding. The of their that would be a guess. Alliance. 
Uh, oh, we just saw vulnerability, I'm pretty sure. You see the, uh, right there? Legendary Alliance. So it looks like something they do does vuln. Channeling both heroes' skills. And we got a move where he flies in the air, spins. Was protect... oh, that like meteors coming down? Let's see that again. So he he hovers up. Channeling both heroes' skills to devastate spins, their enemies. And we're seeing a lot of red circles. Protect and then what appears to possibly be a block mechanic. Uh, okay, so they, they might have something similar to Ranger Greatsword 4, where they can hold the Greatsword in front of them to block. Allies. They use... Dis it, by the way, I just want to say, the graphic for this disengage, I love it. That looks slick. Like, the the, the back row, I mean, th this honestly looks like what like a, a baseball player is sliding into a base, and they look, like, just really good doing it. <laughs> Like the ones that just slide in and then stand up and walk away without like ever going down. Uh, but yeah, so we've got some sort of disengage type mechanic where they fly they backwards. Use this could easily be part of the greatsword or one of their utility skills we just saw on the Willbender. They got a utility skill that they disengaged um, and it was a stun break and then they pressed it again and it was a re-engage. Swords to deliver massive attacks and... So then we've got <laughs> great time to pause it. Then we've got the Doom Fist. Uh, so this Flash looks like an Overwatch. Uh, in it, literally, Doom Fist from Overwatch. His elite skill is he leaps into the and air, and then you become a red circle, and you can move around. You can still control your movement, but you're just a red circle, and he then you crash down on instead the instead of dodging. Another possibility for the elite. If if the thing where he points and summons the ghost with the spear is not the elite skill, I'm guessing this Doomfist jump is the elite skill. Or they're getting two legends? Maybe? They did say that you were channeling two people. I don't know if that means you're getting two legends or just two sets of, like, or just or just skills that their flavor comes from two different beings. I'm not sure. Okay, that looks pretty si pretty slick. Um, bitter enemies, but their greatest champions, Saint Victor and Arkhamorus. I mean, it all seems to, to feel like a power Shiro build, which it is a great sword, so that is kind of the stuff that we expected. The this right here is the only thing that I think is maybe a bleeding attack. Vindicators like maybe, call maybe. upon the strength of their and... legendary alliance. Everything else just seems Channeling to be like hard hits and crushing to blows. Their enemies and protect their allies. They use great swords to deliver ma massive attacks and crush foes by leaping straight into battle instead of dodging. Yeah, that that line at the end, crush foes by s leaping into the battle instead of dodging. Do you think they took their dodges away? <laughs> what if they got the Mirage treatment? They're like, here's a great sword. That'll be two dodges. <laughs> they they just like, yeah. Uh you, you, that's a trade. That's a that's a trade. No no dodges for you. Oh man. Do not joke. Oh I do, I do. Devastate their enemies and protect their allies. They use great The baseball slide is the dodge. That's a long dodge. Look at look at the distance. What if instead of two dodges you had one, but you went double the distance? I just pulled that idea out of thin air, but it, I, I doubt that's what it is, but that would be interesting, I guess. Just have one Omega dodge. They use great swords to deliver. The orbs above his head. Uh, that's resistance. That is the resistance buff. I know, because I hate fighting it. Use great swords to deliver massive attacks and crush. You know what? That actually, that's a good point. I didn't even. My eyes just kind of glossed over that. So yeah, it looks like he's actually getting resistance when he rolls backwards. Which mean? You know what that means, though? That means that skill is probably like a better lightning reflexes. That means if you're immobilized, that could get you out of it. 
like if you've got a druid's roots holding you to the ground, if you've got a movement skill that comes with resistance, you could probably use this to get out of uh, roots and stuff, even if you have a bunch of conditions on you. It could it could be like the thief healing roll skill. Yeah, and that's a, that's definitely another viable option. I mean, so honestly, there's so that could be an omega dodge. It could be their heal skill. It could be a utility skill similar to the willbender. Uh, yeah, there there's a, a lot to unpack there. All right, we're looking at next Tuesday, the twenty first, one week from today, being when the beta test starts. So by next Tuesday, we're looking at having two more trailers coming out. Uh, the ones that we are assuming is for the warrior with some sort of gun blade and the elementalist looking one with a hammer. So yeah, if you've uh, got any predictions on this or any thoughts on the video that I missed, be sure to put them in the comments down below. See you in the next one.